Okay. So, welcome everybody. Namaste. You're lying down on your backs or seated if you prefer. And just let your arms come out to the sides. The palms are facing up. Let your legs fall apart. Let your toes fall away from the ankles and you're starting to take deep breaths through the nose inhaling let your tummy rise and exhaling let it fall towards your back this is your shavasana Deep connection with your internal world, connection with your soul. So just for this hour, commit to, to taking this time out to reconnect. So deep breath through the nose, surrender to the support just meeting ourselves where we are so we're just going to check in with ourselves ask ourselves how how we are in the mind and no need to dwell or go into all of your thoughts you're just checking in maybe you can label the feeling maybe tired or busy mind something like this and just being with that for a few breaths just allowing the breath to soften some of those feelings breath is a wonderful thing that prana that life force energy you can increase the flow increase your life force energy just by taking a deep inhalation let your tummy rise exhaling completely relax melt into your support We're going to check in with our minds. And if our mind is busy, I want you to imagine breathing some of those thoughts out through your nose with the out breath. Completely relaxing with every out breath. Feel yourself. A deep sense of peace wash over you. Now checking in with the body. Just asking ourselves how we feel in the body. Maybe you can feel an area of tension or maybe there's more than one area. And again with that deep breath, that life force energy. Take some of that energy to the area of tension. Imagine flushing that area with this pure prana, this life force energy. And as you exhale, feel a deep sense of peace wash over you. Relaxing the jaw. This is a place where we hold lots of tension. We grit our teeth sometimes. We don't notice. Relax the cheeks, the tiny muscles behind the eyes. Relax the tummy muscles. This is another area that we hold emotions and ego and power struggles. 
relax through the hips. This is where we hold our trauma, our baggage, things on the past that are no longer serving us. So just feel a deep sense of peace washing over you. Just slowly inhaling. Hold at the top of your inhalation breath just for a few seconds and then deeply exhale. This is slowing down the fight or flight response. We're slowing down the nervous system response. Inhaling. Hold. Deep exhalation. And now we are starting to come back into the room, which is a good thing because the trance music has started. <laughs> okay, we love a bit of trance. Hmm. Right, what we're going to do, hopefully you're laying down on your mat. Everything is straight. And then you're going to take a deep breath in, reach up tall with your arms, chin is close to chest, stretch as tall as you can, you'll feel your, arch, your back arching. Take a few deep breaths here. Use your tummy for your breath, breathe through the nose, the whole class. One more deep breath in, stretch your arms away from you, stretch your legs away from you. As you exhale, bring your arms down by the sides. Good. Again, inhale, stretch up tall, chin is close to chest, stretch, 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 point your fingers, point your toes. Two deep breaths. One more deep breath. And then what we're going to do is slightly bend the left leg. But stretch really tall right side, really stretch tall right side and then change sides. So slightly bend the right leg. You're bringing the knee and the hip up towards the belly on one side and stretching tall the other. This is called flossing. You're opening up the vertebrae. Let's keep going. Inhaling one way, stretch tall the other. Exhaling, change sides. One more each side. Inhaling one way. Exhaling, change sides. Good, okay, that slightly bent leg, hug it in to the chest. Maybe lift up and come back down again so you're separating through the vertebra of the neck. Hug that knee into the chest. Just give it a few deep hugs into the chest. Deep breath through your nose. Exhaling as you hug in and inhaling as you open up. One more time. Good, bring that leg down. We're going to change sides. Hug this knee into the chest. Squeeze as you exhale. Inhale to release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale to release. Last one. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Now we're going to bring the other leg up to meet it and squeeze. Squeeze the legs in and release. If you've got a bad back, just go as far as you feel a gentle stretch. So I can't squeeze too far in tonight. As you exhale, you're squeezing in and as you inhale, release. Two more times. Knees are together. Squeeze. Exhale and inhale to release. Last one. Squeeze. And release. We're going to bring the feet to the floor near the hips. Have the feet apart, they're in line with the hips. Bring the heels close to the hips, the hands down by the side. Your chin is close to chest. Okay, you're going to hold the tummy muscles tight, keep a gap between the knees, but make sure you roll the thighs towards each other to look after your back. So as you inhale, you're going to lift the hips and pelvis off the floor. Lift, lift, lift. And we're going to Stay up here for a few breaths. So just ground yourself. Maybe lift the toes and drop them down again. 
Keep your tummy muscles tight, keep everything in alignment. Take one more deep breath in, relax your shoulders. As you exhale, click down from neck downwards, vertebra by vertebra. Click, 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 nice and slowly. Good, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift, lift, lift. Remember to keep the knees and thighs rolled towards each other. We're going to interlock the fingers underneath. So you're kind of peeling the shoulders away from the chest, pinching the shoulder blades together. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the arms out, click down from neck down. Click, 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 click. The hips come down last. Good, hug the left knee into the chest. Inhale. As you exhale, straighten that leg out, just in line with the right knee. So the knees are in alignment, there's a gap between the legs. What we're gonna do is crunch up a little bit, shoulder blades off the floor, bring the hands near the knees, and take a few deep breaths here. Looking up to the sky, better for the neck, yeah? So don't tuck your chin in to your chest. Take a deep breath in. Flex the foot nice and strong. Exhale, come down. Good, let's hug the right knee into the chest. Then you're going to stretch it out. The knees are in line, but there's a gap between them. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, crunch up, hands by the knees. Look up to the sky, deep breath. So you're relaxing through your shoulders. You feel it in your tummy muscles. Flex the foot, take another deep breath in, exhale, come down. Hug the knees into the chest and you're going to roll really gently one way. Let your head come down, massage your temples. Inhale to come up and exhale to go down. Inhale to come up and exhale to come down so just before you fall over use the body to come back to the center one more each side last one good come back to the center so, <clears throat> i'll bring i need to get my plan because i've forgotten what i'm doing oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay okay hold your knees and what you're going to do is circle the knees. The knees and feet are together. Hug them in and then bring them away. So you're massaging your tailbone. You're taking deep breaths through your nose. And then we're going to change direction and go the other way. Good work. Okay, hands down by your sides. Stretch your legs up to the sky. Point and flex your feet, yeah, and your toes. You're stretching one side, kind of pedaling through the legs. Deep breaths. Good work. One more each. Then we're going to bring the feet to the floor near the hips. Bring the arms out by your sides in line with chest. Lift the feet off the floor and you're going to drop the knees to the right and the head and neck is going to look to the left. Place your right hand on the outside left knee to bring the knees together a bit. You're looking in the opposite direction. I'm not because I'm looking at the camera. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to stretch that top leg out now, so let go of it. There's a gap between the legs. Stretch. Good. Flex your foot. Take a deep breath in. You bend the knee. Come back to the centre. The knees are off. Sorry, the feet are off the floor. I need to come over a bit. We're going to drop the knees now to the left, the head and neck to the right. Place your left hand on outside right knee. Head and neck in the opposite direction. Deep breaths through your nose. Good. Two more deep breaths. Well, I'll try and see what else we're doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Inhale, come back to the center. You're going to stretch the legs down. 
we're going to bend the, the left leg, place the sole of the foot on the right knee, the arms stay out by the side, you're going to drop your left knee all the way over to the right. Keep the shoulder blades on the floor. If your shoulder blades come up, you don't come down as far. And again, you can place your right hand on the outside left knee. So your right leg is straight. Look in the opposite direction. Deep breath through your nose. One more deep breath in. Exhale, as you inhale, come back to the centre, straighten up, bend the right leg, place the sole of the foot on the left knee and then roll your hips over to the right, deep breath through your nose. Are we having trouble with signal guys because I can't see myself and someone's just logged out oh now I can yeah okay is everything all right is it you Julie Julia are you okay no you're all right aren't you anyway back to the center let's see mm -mm -mm -mm. yes okay we're gonna hug those knees into the chest again And then take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, crunch up, chin towards the knees. This is called seed pose. Relax the shoulders. We've all done breath of fire before. So breath of fire is pumping the air out of your lungs with your abdominal contraction. Don't do it if you're pregnant or if you've just recently had tummy surgery. We're going to do it as fast as we can with the exhalation breath. You pump. I've lost you, Chloe. Is that a bit just me or everybody? No, I've lost her as well. Oh, she's back. Oh, she's back, yeah. Back, yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. <coughs> My dog's barking as well. That doesn't help, does it? Let me let him out. <coughs> okay. Did we cut out? Let me put my mobile data on just in case that will help. That might help. You never know. Okay. Okay, good work. So from here, you're going to roll on your sides and come up. Oh, come onto your tummies. Not come up. Come onto your tummy. You're on your belly. You're going to do sphinx pose. Your elbows are underneath the shoulders. Lift yourself tall, inhale, as you exhale, twist and have a look over your shoulder. Doesn't matter which side. Just twist, 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 inhale back to the center, exhale, twist and look over the other shoulder. Inhale back to the center. We're going to come down and slide the hands by the chest, chin on the floor. Inhale, lift your chin and chest and tummy. Elbows are bent. Lift your chin and chest. Lift and look up between your eyebrows. Cobra pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come down. Bend the elbows. Again, you're coming down vertebra by vertebra, but from the spine to the neck. Chin on the floor. This time, inhale, lift your chin, chest tummy all the way up, up into up dog so your arms are straight shoulders are out lift inhale exhale bend the elbows come down now you're going to push yourself up onto your knees hold your tummy tight soles of the feet are together knees apart slide down into child's pose nose forehead on the floor take a few deep breaths in child's pose 
in her head comes up. We're doing cat and cow. So you're exhaling, hunching up chin to chest. Inhaling, arch. Exhaling, hunch, 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 chin to chest. And inhaling, arch. Two more times. Exhaling, hunch it up. Push, push, push through the arms. Straight arms. Inhaling, arch. Now we're going to tuck those toes under. Fingertips are wide. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Lift the hips high. Push your hips up to the sky. So you're creating a line between the wrists and the tailbone. And then just gently start to pedal through those legs. The heels reaching for the mat. Don't push too hard. So first downward dog, deep breath through your nose. Good work. Okay, from here we're slowly walking the feet towards the hands. Knees are bent, chin to chest. Slide the hands up the legs. Roll up slowly, head comes up last, roll your shoulders back and down. Good work, okay. Sun salutations for us. Maybe this one? Yeah. Sorry. Maybe the next one. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, standing tall at the front of your mats. Your heels are in line with the hips. Tuck your pelvis in, hands on heart centre, chin close to chest. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, right leg back, bend the knees. Right leg back, knee on the floor if you like. Or you're going to step right back into a plank. Step the left leg back, hold it there in plank. As you exhale, drop your knee, chest and chin. Tuck the elbows in, inhale, lift the chin and chest up into cobra. Come up onto the knee, tuck the toes under. You're on all fours, tuck your toes under. Come up into downward dog, hips are high. Push those heels, deep breath through your nose. Don't push too hard. Look at your ankles. Here you're going to drop the left knee to the floor. Inhale, step the right leg between your hands. Bend the left, bring the palms together. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hinge forward. Bend the knees, inhale, left leg back, knee on the floor. Or plank, straight back into plank, hold it there. Exhale down, drop your knees, chest and chin. Tuck the elbows in, inhale, lift, chin and chest, come up onto knees. I'm going to walk my forward so you can see me. Tuck the toes, lift up onto the balls of the feet, push the heels, the hips to the sky, and then walk the heels. Pedal through the legs, look at your ankles. Good work, we're going to drop the right knee to the floor. Inhale, step up, left leg. Then the right, palms together, inhale, sweep up, exhale, hinge, come forward, bend the knees, inhale, right leg back, knee on the floor if you like, or hold it there, step back with the left leg into plank, hold it tight, exhale down, drop your knees, chest and chin, inhale, lift, chin and chest, shoulders down, come up onto the knees, let me come forward, tug the toes under, lift the hips, tailbone to the sky, and then start to pedal through the feet, deep breaths through your nose. Then you're going to drop the left knee to the floor, inhale, step the right leg between your hands, then the left. Ooh, palms together, I'm a bit close to the wall. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, left leg back. Knee on the floor if you like. Then the right leg. You can do this in baby plank. Hinge the hips forwards. If you're in normal plank, just come down, bend the elbows. 
release your chin. Inhale, lift chin and chest. Come up onto the knees. Tuck your toes under. Hips high. Push the heels. Pedal through the legs. Look at your ankles. Deep breath through your nose. Good work. You're going to drop the right knee to the floor. Inhale, step up. Left leg. Exhale, step up right. Palms together. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hand on heart center. Whew. Good work. Let me come down onto the side again. So you can see me fully. Yep. Come into kneeling, please. So you're kneeling here. What we need to do is inhale and lift your arms up and lift your hips up. So you're inhaling, reaching up and exhaling, floating down. So inhale, lift up, lift. Chin is just parallel. Exhale, come down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Stretch tall and come down. Last one. Inhale, lift. From here, bring the hands down. So your hands are down. You're on all fours. And you're going to step. Let me show you this this way round. Step your right leg out. Straight. And then come up. Yeah? I need to push this up a bit, don't I? Come back a bit as well. Good. Okay. From here, you're going to drop the left hand down about a foot away from your knee. Left side. And you're going to reach up and over with your right, right arm. Lift the hips. They need to be stacked on top of each other. Look up at your thumb. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come up and just bring that right hand onto the right knee or shin and reach over left side. Keep the hips on top of each other. Lift tall, chest is open, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, come up. Bring that hand down again. We're going to roll the hands around to that front knee. And we're going to step the back knee up between the hands. Now you're looking in this direction. We're going to walk that foot wide outside, the outside of the mat, outside the hands. And lean it forward. If you want, you can push the back knee back, so you're on the fat bit of the knee. And lean forward into that stretch. Your hands are on the floor. So you're in lizard pose. Lean it forwards. What I want you to do is take that knee and push it out so that you're on the knife edge of your foot. Lean forward into it, open up the hips, take a deep breath in. One more deep breath in, exhale, come back. Walk that foot inside the hand, tuck the back toe under and come up into just a low lunge and we're going to interlock the fingers behind the back lift 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 with the arms inhaling and exhaling two more deep breaths good come down with the hand drop the knee bring the soles of the feet together the knees apart, slide down into child's pose, nose, forehead on the floor. So just resting here, try and sit down on the heels. If you can't sit on the heels, have your hands in one potato, two potato. Give you a bit more space, have your knees apart, that helps. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. As you inhale, come up. Come on to all fours. Sorry, my, we're off placed. The camera is not happy. 
Okay, we're gonna step. My leg is to right, right, but I think you guys might be left. Step that foot here and step it out wide on the outside of the mat, yeah? Hands are here, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips. If you need to slide this leg back to open it up a bit, do so. Both hips are parallel to the front of the mat. Inhaling, as you exhale, place the hand on the knee and push it open so you come onto the knife edge of that foot. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Okay, come back. Turn. And lift up. We're going to step that foot out wide. So for you guys, your left foot. You're going to drop your, can you come back? Drop your right hand down, a foot away from the right knee. Turn the left toes forward, the left sole of the foot needs to be in line with the right heel. And stretch over. Open the chest, turn your hips, your top hip up. Look at your thumb, take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come up with the arms. They're in line with the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, just drop the left hand onto the left knee or shin and reach over with the right. Look up at your thumb, take a deep breath in, keep that chest lifted, keep those hips stacked. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Bring the soles of the feet together, the knees apart. Slide down into child pose. Deep breath through your nose. Good, slowly come up. We're going to step that leg forward, come up on door fours. So we're around here, let me try that again. Yeah, we're going to do that low lunge. So you're going to lift the back knee. Come up, interlock the fingers, lift the arms. So you're quite low. Your back leg is nice and straight and strong. Your front knee is at 90 degrees. Lift your chest or inhale. Exhale, back leg strong. Maybe search for the back of the mat with the back heel. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands down. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Slide down into child. Deep breath through your nose. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Now come down onto your tummy. Let me rearrange this mat. Feel stretched out. Really stretched out. Nose forward on the floor. Arms outstretched. Rock your hips a few times. What you're going to do is inhale, lift your chin and chest, your right arm and left leg. Look at the edge of your mat here. The other hand is down. Taking deep breaths through your nose. Point your toe, point your fingers. Chest is lifted. So you're kind of balancing between your hip and your rib cage, the lower part of the ribs. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Cross your hands. Nose forehead on the backs of the hands. Rock your hips. Gently rocking hips. Let me turn this down. Coming up. This time I'm leaving. Left hand down. Down the side of the night. Inhale, lifting left arm, right leg. Opposite arm to leg, basically. Look at the edge of your mat. Your chin and chest are lifting. Point your fingers, feel it through the glutes. 
Use your tummy for your breath, relax the shoulders, but chest stays lifted. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come down, cross your hands, rock your hips. And you can either do one more each side. But what we'll do, we'll do with hands underneath, this is quite nice. We're going to bring the hands, the palms of the hands, underneath the hips. The arms are straight, tuck them in. So your hands are right inside on your inner thighs. The palm is touching the hip bone, inside hip bone. Chin on the floor. Inhale, lift the chin and chest. Lift the right leg. Deep breath through your nose. Point your toe. Now your whole leg should be off. You will feel pressure around the pelvis. It's really good for that area. Good flush. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Chin on the floor. Rock your hips. Inhale, lift the chin and chest again. Shoulders stay relaxed. Lift. The opposite leg, deep breath through your nose. You're looking at the edge of the mat. Chin is just, uh, neck is in line with spine, that's important. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Chin on the floor, rock your hips. You know what's coming. You guys are lifting both legs. So you're going to lift the chin and chest all the way up and then lift the legs off the floor. I'm not going to do it. I'm looking after my back. If you can't do it, just lift chin and chest. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Bring the hands out. Hands are flat. Forehead on and rock. Gently. Good work. Okay, slide the hands back near the chest, tuck the elbows in, come up onto the knees, tuck the toes under, come onto all fours. You're going to tuck your toes, lift your hips, push up, tailbone in line with wrist, and then gently pedal the heels again. Deep breaths. Now you can try a static dog. Slight bent legs is fine. Look at your ankles. Inhaling, exhaling. Come on to your knees. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Slide down into child's pose. Four deep breaths there. Good work, guys. Okay. Whew, I'm hot, hot, hot. Put that there, I think. We're staying on the heels, actually. Let me turn this sideways on. We're going to do the mantra Satnam, Satnam, Satnam. One of the most powerful mantras of all, meaning I am in vibration of oneness or in vibration of truth. I am the, I am the truth. It's really energizing and it's really calming. So what I want you to do, when you exhale, when you inhale, lift the tummy towards the back, which I know I'm always teaching you the other way around. The breath of fire, but we're not doing breath of fire. We're going, we're going set, nam, set, nam. Bring your hands interlock the fingers, the two index fingers, the Jupiter wisdom fingers are pointing up, the thumbs on one on top of the other. Stretch up, elbows in line with ears, chin parallel, set, nam. Inhaling, set, exhaling, nam, set. No, although you don't really need to think about the inhalation, just zip your tummy towards your back. Set, no, set, no. So your tummy goes in on set and out on no. Set, 
Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam. Your eyes are closed. You're projecting through the third eye and out the top of your head, up into the fingers and up, connecting with the divine. Your heels and tailbone straight down, connecting with Mother Earth. It's a very grounding pose, this position, rock pose, sitting on the heels. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam. Try to relax the shoulders if you can. Sat, nam, sat. Nam Sat, 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 Nam Sat. Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam. Don't give up. You can rock your head a few times. You can bring the arms down, and give your neck and shoulders a little shake, and then we go back up. Got about a minute left. Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat. Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam. Imagine this is your antennae connecting you with the universe. Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat, Nam Sat. Nam, good. Inhale. Hold your breath and hold your root lock. So hold the pelvic floor. Imagine you're trying to stop yourself going to the toilet both ways. Ones and twos. Hold, hold, hold. And exhale. Good work. Okay. What we're going to do now. is some um, alternate nostril breathing and then we're going to do the great lock right so just come to seated position you can sit in lotus if you like or however you feel sit on the chair if you like one heel comes into the pelvis and then the other alongside oh what we're going to do instead of alternate nostril breathing we're going to do right nostril breathing just the right nostril Okay, because the right nostril breath brings us clarity and focus and really boosts energy levels. Normally we do both sides, but this time we're just going to do the right side. So you'll be closing off the left, okay? So your right hand in chin mudra or Gaia mudra, earth mudra, bring the hand down onto the knee with the thumb close off the left nostril completely relax and we're going to inhale for eight and then exhale so it's all with the same nostril inhaling exhaling Strong deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Now when you exhale, make sure you use your tummy, your navel to help with the exhalation breath, inhaling. So 
so I'm not going to count for you today. You're doing it on your own accord, but try to let it last for the inhalation eight and the exhalation for eight. So try to have evenness of breath, wonderful for balancing the two hemispheres of the brain, the doing things and the relaxing, creative, calming. Keep going, deep breath. Shoulders relax, don't give up. We're going to do five more breaths like this. both hands down they can both be in this position just relax for a few breaths two more deep breaths last one good work okay i think we're all familiar with great lot who's on here, if we don't, if we don't, I'm going to teach it anyway because I'm recording, so I'm going to come to kneeling because I think it's easier to explain. So the great lock, you're holding three locks, yeah, you're holding the chin lock, you're going to hold a diaphragm lock, which I'll show you in a minute, and you're going to hold the root lock, which is the pelvic floor. So the pelvic floor is pretty easy and the chin, you hold them together, but it's the diaphragm lock that is the hardest to master. So you're going to inhale, let the tummy rise. You're going to exhale, crunch the tummy towards the back. Keep going. You need to have nothing left in the lungs and then lift the diaphragm. Don't breathe in. Keep that breath held out. Then you'll hold the root lock, you lock your chin, and then inhale and let the tummy rise and relax. So we're going to do that three times. So coming up, maybe it will help. Not everyone needs to come up. Up to you. Inhale, let the tummy rise. Exhale. Keep going, crunch it towards your back. Without breathing in, lift the diaphragm, cave out the tummy, lock the chin to chest, hold the pelvic floor. Inhale, relax. Okay, deep breath in. Exhale completely. Bring the tummy towards the back. Keep breathing out, keep breathing out. Lift. Chin to chest. Hold the pelvic floor. I can't hold the diaphragm lock while I'm talking. It's impossible. Inhale. Exhale completely.
That is a great look. That can make you feel really woozy and give you a real natural high. So lovely. Okay, we're going to do such a wonderful mantra. This mantra. Mm -hmm. It's a mantra for creativity. And we say, Har, Hare, Hari, Wahe, Guru. You'll get it. Basically, Har, Hare, Hari, meaning idea, flow, here it is. And then, Wow, is Wahe, Guru, or yes, you know, I'm in ecstasy. It's that kind of thing. So, idea, flow, here it is, Wow. And we're saying it with a hand mudra, three hand mudras, and then a flow. So you're going to have interlocked fingers for the ladies. The left thumb is on top of right, so adjust. Yeah. You're starting with this clasp, and it starts like this. Ha, hooray, hooray. So you make a chalice and then you lift it up Wahe Guru then come back ready Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru 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 so your R's, you're tapping the top of your, the roof of your mouth, yeah? It's a seed mantra. The sound is exactly how it feels. Planting seeds. Ha, hare, hare, wa, he, guru. Of creativity. Wa, he, guru. Ha, hare, hare, wa, he, guru. Har Hare Hari, Wahe Guru. Har Hare Hari, Wahe Guru. Closing eyes once you've learned the mudra. Har Hare Hari, Wahe Guru. And just focus on that eyebrow centre, the third eye chakra, Anya chakra. Har Hare Hare, Wahe Guru. 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 Har Hare Hari, 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 Wahe Guru. Last one. Hare Hari, Wahe Guru. Good. Bring your hands into this chalice. 
looking down, gentle chin lock. Imagine this is your chalice, your cup full of blessings and creations. And then inhale, lift it up to the sky, open your arms out wide, 60 degrees strong arms, tip your head back slightly. So now your whole body is a chalice receiving blessings from above. Take a deep breath in and exhale, come down. Well done, guys. Let's lie down. Let's lie down into Shavasana. So you're lying on your backs. Bring your arms out by your sides, the palms facing up. Let the toes fall away from the ankles and take deep breaths through your nose. Inhaling, let the tummy rise. And exhaling, let it fall towards your back. This is your Shavasana, the most important part of your yoga. This is when all of the work is done. This is for resetting, rebalance, restore, rejuvenation of cells taking plenty of energy in through the nostrils allowing a softness to occur throughout the body completely relax letting go of all relax your jaw Relax your tummy muscles, your hips, your pelvis. <clears throat> this conscious relaxation, completely different to sleep. Conscious relaxation is the equivalent, five minutes of this conscious relaxation is the equivalent to half an hour's sleep. So if you didn't sleep well last night, this five minutes will restore you. Imagine now your arms are out by your sides. Your hands are full of nerve endings. The palms are open. Just feel those subtle sensations in the palms, the gentle tingling. And imagine these are your antennae and you're receiving prana, life force 